Hello everyone. Welcome back. So you can tell by what's on my desk that I'm going to be working on my tag. And I know it's just been a couple days ago. What tag are we on? Ugh. What is this? Uh, 2930. This is tag 31. Tomorrow, week 32 comes out. So I wanted to try to get this done. I have my art class tonight, so I thought this is something I can normally do within the time limit that I have. So this week is all about bling and gold. Um, gold primarily. So not one of my favorite things, I will say. <laughs> um, but I have gone through and pulled some things together and made some decisions um, on what I'm going to use. I do have a piece of this um, gold quilt, and I thought I would cut this down. I don't; it's too wide for what I want to do, so I'm going to try to cut this maybe about half, maybe a little bit more than half. because I'm going to do something else alongside of it. I have this that I thought I might add somewhere, I think here, um, for an edge. I've done so many different things playing around that I can't remember <laughs> what I was going to do now. But I have this uh, little gold owl I thought I would use on here. I pulled some, um, oh, I can't even think of the name of them. But anyway, beading things, <laughs> whatever they're called. Some beads, a little ball. I might hang from the bottom down here, a little gold ball. Um, but these are the things I have, so these are the things I'm going to work with. And I think I'm going to start, first of all, by maybe pinning down this. I didn't cut that very straight, did I? Not a very straight cutter. I think it'll be fine. I am not going to lose any sleep on it. So I'm just going to hold that in place. I know I want this over this edge. I think that's what I had in mind. So I'm going to start by stitching those things down. I'm going to set my timer here just in case. Um, there we go. So I've Threaded my needle with just some um, regular gold thread. I do have some of this that I think I'm going to try to incorporate maybe around the owl. Not quite sure. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see how it all goes. But I tried to put that in my sewing machine one year. I bought some gold and some red for a Christmas journal and my sewing machine did not like it and I'm sure it's has something to do with the way I threaded it or the needle or something but I remembered I had that and I thought ah great time to be able to use it so I'm just gonna tack these things down here I'm just, you know what I should do? I think I'm going to start with this piece first. I'll just come up here. I usually like to start on my outside 
but I didn't. So I'm curious to see what is up Anne's sleeve for tomorrow's tag. I'm really not a fan of this gold. I'm just not a very blingy person. I think it's pretty and all that, but it's just not something I go to. Oop. I thought that was on there. Let me just get you out of the way there, buddy. So my husband's leaving early in the morning for his trip and I'm, I think, I told you I go to an oil painting class and last week I was surprised when I went in. The instructor's like, oh, I'd really like to be able to finish this one tonight. And believe me, I thought we had many weeks left, but we didn't. But I think tonight might be the night that I get that painting done so I can move on to something else. And um, so I was sort of excited about going just from the standpoint of finishing that painting and getting on to something different. But with my husband leaving tomorrow, the later it gets and the closer it gets time for class, I'm like, oh, I'd really like to just spend the evening with my husband since I'm not going to see him till Monday. But I will go. I don't want to miss. I just have to think what I want to paint next so I can get that information to him. Forgot about that. I have no idea what I want to do next. One of the instructors said to me last week that she'd really like to see me do some sort of landscape that's just, you know, open and freeing because anything I've ever done has been sort of tedious and, you know, confined. And um, it makes me... Like, not nervous, but real, you know, tight-gripped or whatever. And I think they want me to learn to just loosen up. And the biggest problem I have is, well, one of the things he always says to me is, you're not painting a picture. You're painting a painting. So your painting is not going to be you know, look like that, pic look exactly like a picture. And I think that's why I'm so hard on myself. I'm expecting it to be, you know what I mean? Not exact, because I could never do exact, but you know, I think that's why they feel like I need to do something more, you know, free and less restrictive. So I don't know. Maybe they'll have something in mind that they want me to do. I just, I really enjoy the people and um, I love the whole atmosphere. I'm like, believe me, I'm the worst, <laughs> the worst painter in the class. But that's why I go, is because I want to learn. I know I'll never be a professional painter, anything like that, but. Every week I go, you know, I learn something and I just love seeing what the other people are doing because it's like so incredible. So incredible, the talent. Well, it has rained almost all day off and on. still gray out, but I think the rain is gone now. It's supposed to be a really nice weekend. I'm 
Yeah, I want to make sure I have that over far enough. I started to sew that down. I'll just cut that off. I'll go back to securing this. Now I'm just doing small little stitches over it. Just anything to hold it down. I had a very busy morning. Then I didn't sleep really good last night, so I ate a little bit of lunch and decided to lay down. And then my husband came home from work early because he wanted to make sure the lawn was taken care of before he left. And, you know, it was raining. So anyway, I laid down and then he came in and he's very noisy. It's like when he's asleep, he wants the house to be completely silent. But when he's up, there are no sound barriers. <laughs> and um, so he came in talking and then he went out to try to mow the lawn in between raindrops. So then all I heard was a lawnmower. Finally, I was like, this is, I'm just being defeated here. I just need to surrender. Do you have to ask him? No. Okay. No, I didn't have to ask him. Okay. I'm filming. Can you filming? stuff attached. Did I just knock that or not? I don't think I did. Okay, I'm going to trim this stuff. Then I need to figure out, I think I'm going to put my owl somewhere in this general vicinity because I think I'm going to do some stuff with um, some of the bead caps, I think they're called, with some of these and some beads down here. So I think, well maybe I'll secure my owl with this thread. I think I'm going to try to stitch around with some of that metallic. And I don't really know how I'm going to get this little guy to stay on here. I know I got this hoop up here. So the top should be good. I'm just going to do several stitches around here. sure my tail doesn't come out.
see if I got enough thread. It's trying to prevent threading the needle again. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. I thought maybe around this section here I could put just enough stitches. I don't think he's going to go anywhere once he's attached to my tag. Hmm. Come on, Sheila. There we go. Talking about my art class and then how oh, tight and confined the paintings are that I've been doing. And then I look at this and I see I always seem to have to have a straight edge and I wish I could do something. Let me see. I really thought that would hold. Might have to do something over this tail and I don't know if that's going to look right or not. I feel like I need a little bit. So there we go. Maybe a couple of stitches like that. Just something to keep Mr. Owl in place. Oh, my thread came undone. Oh. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Can you hear my husband has Andy Taylor on? Poor Bar Barney Fife. He gets himself in some messes, doesn't he? This thread's a little bit short. I'm not going to be able to knot that. All right. So Mr. Owl is attached. And then my idea was, see, this is totally not me. <laughs> I'm having some problems with this. Um, I was thinking about doing something like this with some beads on top of them. And then I have this little bead that I thought I would hang down somehow. But I want to do some stitching. So I thought maybe, maybe I'll do that first. Try to use some of this metallic thread, which is not going to be fun to sew with. I do know that. I wonder, I think I'm going to double it up just so that it will be it's probably going to be a nightmare but I'm going to try it And I thought I might just do some 
you don't have a whole lot of room. But maybe just some small stitching here. Whoop. See how this is already Leave a lot of room on that edge there. Really wanted my owl over further. Messed that up, didn't I? I really did want him over further. Wanted him to be, well, is what it is. Adapt and overcome. Sometimes you just have to reel yourself in and think it doesn't have to be perfect. We all want it to be, but if it's not, that's okay as well. Sometimes the imperfections are what make it more special as being handmade. Why can't I get that needle up there? Come on. I think I'm just gonna, I don't know if you're really gonna be able to see that or not. I need to do bigger stitches. hurt. Poked myself with the needle. Oof. That was like drawing blood. <laughs> I'm scared to put my fingers back there. Well, I think I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm just going to do I'm going to do a couple rows around the owl, see if it straightens itself out. It looks sort of funky right now. But I'm going to do some more stitching around the owl, and then I'll be right back. Well, I am back, and 
I don't know that I'm thrilled with um, what I did. It more or less looks like um, seed stitching, but that's okay. I don't know if the camera's picking up any of that stitching at all. Um, but anyway, that's what I've done. Now I'm going to use one of these. I'm using a beading needle and beadalon thread. It's just easier, I think. I'm putting a little seed bead in the center here. And I think I just have to go back through this hole. So bear with me while I figure this out because I am not a professional beater, that's for sure. Okay. That worked. And I wonder if I should try to go back up again. I'm going to try to go back up and through. Maybe. Oop. Too many things to get caught on. Let's see, I'm here. I'm going to go back through the hole underneath that. I don't know if this is right or not. But it's secure. So I think I'm going to do... Oh, I didn't want that there. <laughs> I'm just full of all kinds of goof today. I really wanted to hang this down. Where'd that little thing go? I wonder if I hang it there. Maybe I could put a third one over here or something. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll put this one here. Somewhere in here. So I'm just making a couple stitches. That was a, something I learned from Rachel. Rachel said her mother had told her how to add beads. So I'm putting this little bead cap on. Get a little seed bead. And then going to go back oops back down and I'm going to come up again if I can I won't be able to do it this time. You can see my thread has sort of a knot back there. I'm just going to try to do another stitch through there and I don't think it's going to let me. Through my bead. And back down. Come on. Don't fail me now, thread. <laughs> Alright, so that's good. And since I didn't place those where I wanted them, I think I'm going to bring a third one up. Maybe there. This will be my randomness.
I mean, back through here is going to be fun. There we go. Come on. Last one. Don't be a pain. Can't find the hole of the bead. There it is. Back down. All right. I don't know. I just don't like this because all the gold <laughs> is what it is. I'm going to see. Yeah, I wish my owl would have been over. Okay, nothing we can do. I think I'm going to hang this little thing. I think I'll use this metallic thread to do it. Uh, wait, how am I going to do that? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to start by coming up through here, I think. Make a couple stitches. I haven't really given this much thought. How did we do that before? I think I'm going to put two seed beads. Oh, do I, I got the wrong needle. Are those going to fit? I didn't think about that. Didn't think that one through. Those seed beads aren't going to go over that needle. And I'm going to need a seed bead, I think. The end here. I certainly am. Well now. Didn't think that one through. I'm going to have to cut this thread. I'm going to have to do that with this. And... I hope I have enough thread here. All right, let's do this again. Okay. I want to do two. think to to this one is that going to be enough No, I'm going to have to do some more seed beads. I 
That should be enough in my bead, in a seed bead. And then, how did we do that? We went back up through. Remember we, how did we do that? Because we went back up through our beads. Let me see if I can make this work. I don't think this is right, but there, it did work. All right. I feel like I need something there at the bottom now. Wonder. Maybe I'll add that just because it looks a little bit funky. Once again, I'm going to double this. Having problems knotting this. I think I need maybe this. Just something there. I wonder if I should put. Now these might be too big. That might be too big for this, but we'll see. I'm just gonna come up. Maybe. First of all, I'm going to put a couple stitches around this. I'm totally not doing this the way you should. So I apologize to all the professional beaters out there. I'm not claiming to be one. I just want to attach it. <laughs> Oh, yes, that bead is way too, well, maybe not. Let's see. Maybe once it turns, that's good. I think I just, there. Perfect. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Look at this knotted mess I have on the back of here. Thank goodness it's going to be glued down, right? Okay. All right. 
I think that's all I'm doing for this. I don't want to spend any more time on this particular tag. I'm going to glue him down. Oh, I sat there with my leg crossed that whole time and now I have no feeling in my leg. <laughs> my foot. <laughs> I did that one day setting at my desk on the computer. I was on the computer for a long time and didn't realize what had happened. You know, that my I had no feeling in that leg at all and foot. Stood up and fell flat. <laughs> Let's see if we can... Straighten that out a little bit. Boy, that stuck right down. I didn't even stitch around my edges. Can you tell I'm just not into this tag? I mean, it's alright. It's blingy. And I completed it. I wonder if I should try to trim that a little. I wish I would have stitched that up there though, but that's okay. It's a tag. It's not the end of the world. Just want to make sure it's done. Perfect. There's my tag in all its glory. <laughs> well, I hope it inspired somebody in some small way. I am just getting a great deal of satisfaction by completing this project. You know, it's a tag a week, and that in itself, I think, is something to be proud about. Um, because sometimes you start out all gung-ho, and then all of a sudden you lose interest. So for me, it's a big deal that I'm staying on top of, of this and my collage that I do every week. Um, because I have a tendency to veer away, you know. So there you have it. Thank you all very much for visiting my channel. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Happy crafting, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.